Last week I uploaded a video about Fukuoka, Japan, and I was there for two days, experienced a lot of great things, so make sure you check out that video if you haven't. If you're liking my weekly uploads, make sure you give me a thumbs up as it is encouragement to me. But we're moving on to the next thing, so let's talk about Beppu. So it's at this point that I realize I'm getting sick. Uh, my throat's sore and I'm getting very congested and have a lot of face pain, which yes, ended up being a sinus infection that I'm still recovering from if you can hear it in my voice. Don't worry, I was tested and I don't have that virus. So for me, Beppu was really just a pet stop. My true destination was to go to the Instagrammable photo of Takachiho Gorge. And it just made sense for me to stop at Beppu. There's not actually a lot of Japanese hotels that allow you to do 24 hour check-in. And this very convenient hotel right next to Beppu station does allow 24 hour check-in. So I headed here late at night and I was able to check in past 10 p.m. Compared to the previous evening's luxury hotel experience, this hotel was very basic, quaint, and came with all the things you might possibly need during your stay. But get you a girl who can do both. I don't mind staying in budget hotels, as long as they're clean. The next morning, the breakfast bar was edible, but I really had one goal and one goal only coming to Beppu. It is a very famous onsen and hot spring area as it's one of the most geothermal active cities in Japan. You can see this based on all of the steam coming out of almost every orifice in the city. But my goal as a photographer and aesthetic filmmaker was just to take a time lapse of the skyline with all the steam coming out of the city. I really only had a couple of hours to film Beppo before I had to go on my five hour journey to the next destination in Miyazaki. So I wanted to introduce this channel that's letting me use their footage of something I would have liked to do if I had more time in Beppu. Their link will be in the description, so make sure you check out their full video for the details. But basically, you would need a car to get to these areas. There are some free natural hot springs just in the wilderness around Beppu. And there's just something so magical about going to these places in nature alone and experiencing this nice hot spring. This is something that I experienced for the first time when I went to Iceland three years ago. And we were just like in the middle of a snowy mountainous field with just a little puddle of hot water. I have done a lot of other hot spring themed videos on my channel, so if you want to watch that, please go check it out. This video, I won't be taking a bath. Another hot spring location in the area I would like to visit if I had more time would be a more commercial one. So this is a pretty famous hot spring in the area because it has great scenic outdoor views. And I even saw that you can take a bus directly from Beppu Station to get to the area. My goal in Beppu, however, was just to take a bus to this observatory lookout point that I'd seen online where you can get a nice view of the skyline. So I took a bus from Beppu Station to Kanawa Station. And at Kanawa Station, there was a tourist center with a rental locker so I could put my bags in there because it would be about a 20 to 30 minute walk for me to get to the observatory lookout point. I double checked my route with one of the ladies inside the tour center and she was very nice and informed me that I don't have to walk there. I can walk five minutes and see a really good view. So I took her advice because I was running short on time and I just walked about five minutes away from the tour center to a bus stop where I did get a great view and an easy GoPro time lapse. After grabbing this time lapse, it was time for me to take a five hour journey to get down to Takachiho Gorge in Miyazaki. Recently, I've been enjoying doing a series about the most Instagram spots in Japan and seeing if they're worth the hype, and Takajiho Gorge was on my wish list. Since I was already in Fukuoka, I felt like I couldn't miss this opportunity to go down there and see it myself. So Beppu was definitely just one of my pit stops that made sense for me on my journey. But if you're someone who wants to skip these northern cities, I'd recommend you just fly straight into Miyazaki Airport and go from there. Because the thing about these more remote areas of Japan is that the public transportation doesn't run nearly as often or as late as you would like it to to make your traveling easy. So for me, this five hour journey was going to take up almost the whole day just to get there in time for me to check in to the next hotel. 
So if you want to see if Takachi Hill Gorge is in fact worth the hype, make sure that you turn on your notifications and follow me on Instagram so you know when I post the next video. Oh,